Hey there, Taurus. How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B., if you're unfamiliar. And this is a special edition brought to you by Nicole Spiritual Guidance Academy. All right, so in case if you don't know who I am or what I do, I am a certified angel oracle reader. And let's see, Taurus, we're going to pull you a couple of cards just to get kind of get an idea here possibly what may be happening in October. We have the Shield Maiden. All right, it says here, make plans to focus. <laughs> Taurus, uh, my fellow Taurians out there, big shout out to all of you. You are an Earth sign ruling planet. It's Venus, planet of love. Who are you holding up this shield for? Protecting against someone, possibly going through this protection that you've been going through, possibly maybe even hermit mode, because you're sick and tired of people trying to take advantage of you, you know, only calling when they need something. Um, however, we do have to be careful not to project that energy and stuff that's happened from the past onto, you know, future potential. Uh, if you're looking at love, for example, you know, not letting <clears throat> the new person pay for past relationships, mistakes that may not have worked out. And I do understand that you are all in different areas of your life. You know, this could have to do with love, friends, family, money, this and that. Uh, but this is saying to make plans to focus as well. Uh, you may be having to, you know, kind of have your guard up a little bit as well, you know, protecting your boundaries. And uh, I feel like that that's going to be coming more to a balance, you know, as it comes to October, a lot more likely to for the rest of this year. And we are in interesting times right now. This is also saying, too, that, you know, you don't necessarily have to keep that wall up when it comes to particular relationship situations. It's also focusing on your career, focusing on uh, possibly if you're already in a committed relationship, uh, maybe you're putting too much focus into your career and that balance is a little bit off. Maybe somebody is just like not communicating with you as far as a possible sign to look out for or any other quick messages, just again, stopping by to say hello and definitely uh, like and subscribe to Nicole's channel here. Take some of her classes. She is a wonderful mentor to have. All right, Taurus, what else do we have here? So I'm really liking this here. We have the Page of Cups. Some of you may be meeting some of my singles out there, maybe meeting somebody younger or possibly maybe even if they are older than you, but they possibly could act young, young at heart, if you will. All right, so Page of Wands here. Also, too, with these other cards, we have the Ten of Cups, Ten uh, Ten with numerology, angel numbers, very, very, very generalized, very, very, very quickly. Completion to a cycle. Also, too, it's like crossing over that bridge, and I just love the imagery in this, how happy they are. You know, it's just like <laughs> time with the ladies, time with the fellas, friends, family, you know, or, you know, a possible romantic relationship as well. But it's just like we did it. <laughs> they didn't think we were going to. You know, we got what we want. It's a completion to that cycle. It's, um, it's a really liberating feeling. And I think this is absolutely fabulous. It's really positive And I like it. You know, it's just taking that time. Uh, you know, bees, you get more with honey than you do with vinegar. I don't know why that just came up. I feel like people may have had a rotten attitude towards you. And you probably have been having to second guess, you know, others motives, you know, uh, cutting away again, friends and stuff like that. And oh, boy, did they get angry. But hey, were they really your friends to begin with? All right. Also to be careful of social media, uh, not to scare or fright anyone, but somebody or a few people are watching you. All right. So uh, this is really interesting here. Some of you could also be working with air signs, <clears throat> Libra, uh, you know, possibly Aquarius also too, maybe even, bleh, maybe even uh, Gemini, all right, Aries possibly as well. Capricorn energy is coming up to a big time, but I pull this card and I know that the imagery may be frightening. However, I'm not necessarily seeing 
it's the death card there. You know, possibly some of you could have dealt with a uh, past loved one. And we send out our prayers and blessings to you. All right. However, I'm seeing this more as a positive, as a death of a phase in your life that no longer served you, something that's been uh, coming at you lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Well, honey, you pretty much hands are clean from that. <laughs> so that's awesome. Good for you. You know, and this is wonderful. This is going to be bringing a lot of positivity into your life. And I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you. And hopefully that was helpful. Until next time.